Hey everybody, Funshot X here. Welcome back to FTB Skies. Today, we're going to start off by improving our power generation, then using that power, turning it to lava, turning that lava into obsidian, and then using obsidian in a bunch of different ways. Um, but we determined that's kind of our biggest need at the moment. So I'm going to head into the factory floor here. Um, let's go upstairs real quick. I, uh, Hooked up a few more create machines just in case I needed to make anything. <laughs> you can see I've got so many Starbuncle wheels. And now that I have brass, I can build these speed controllers. So with these six wheels, I can run this one at 76 before it dies. This one has five wheels. It can run at negative 64 before it tells me that it's overstressed. It's it's fine. We're, we're going to replace all these with a blast furnace or a whatever. Blast furnace? Yeah, something like that. Uh, soon enough. A boiler, a steam boiler, that's what we're making. Anyway, I thought that was funny, just to have all these little guys running. Go, little guys, go! Okay, so power happens over here. Uh, this is gonna be power storage, so let's do power gen in this little quadrant. I've got so many, so much space, I don't think I'm gonna need it, but... Anyway, we're gonna do it the mechanism way. Um, and... To start off with, uh, these are all the things we're going to need. Um, the main thing is going to be this gas burning generator. Um, and in the quest line, it tells you you can just build ox burn oxygen for a little bit of power, or your goal is to burn ethylene. Uh, and ethylene is made in the pressurized reaction chamber. So let's get one of those. And if we look at its re recipes for ethylene, you need hydrogen and any other fluid. It'll, if you just look at this quick, you're like, I need fuel or oil? No, it's really any fluid. So water is perfectly acceptable. Although it'd be kind of fun to throw blood in there, but no, we just need oxygen or hydrogen and water. And we're gonna produce the hydrogen with water in the electric separator. Um, and then let's go back to this one. Uh, then we also need to generate biofuel. Biofuel is created with a crusher and any kind of biofuel stuff. We have a ton of things, but I'm not using moss blocks for anything. And they produce five. It's, it looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to use moss blocks so that I actually have them. Because um, my farm is not really producing potatoes and carrots super fast. And those are kind of the other ones that, that get you five. Oh, cooked potatoes, seven. Wart. And a bunch of flowers. Uh, kelp, if we run out, we've got a billion kelp um, but yeah I think we're I think we're good to go there we could also use saplings so let's get a few other machines um, so we need the electric separator to get the hydrogen out of the water and we're get the water from a sink this is a infinite source block of water uh, and then we need the crusher to make the bio fuel uh, and then we're just gonna need these gas burn generators now I believe one um, pressurized reaction chamber can power up to three of these, I think. But let's let's just get two for now, and if we find out that we've got extra ethylene building up, then maybe we'll go for three. Okay, I think we've got everything going here. As you can see from my inventory, I'm going to use no uh, laser IO uh, to move around the items. Uh, the only item we can't move around is gas. There's no card in laser IO for moving gas. Um, so to get the ethylene gas into the gas burning generators, um, we'll have to actually pipe that. Um, so let's put the generators, where's the center? Like here and here. And we'll put the reaction chamber here. It'll come out the back and go into those. Uh, actually, I'm gonna just leave a one gap in case we do end up going with three of these. I can put another one here. All right, so let's get uh, gas. So water throws through a pipe. Gas throws flows through a tube. I think like a bike, bike tube has air in it, right? So if you're ever wondering which mech, mech item to use. Um, and I don't think we need anything beyond advanced. That's probably plenty high. Okay. So that's going to put our ethylene in here and give us a ton of power. Uh, and then with that power, um, that throws your cable, right? 
electricity through suit cables. Uh, I've got advanced here. I don't know if advanced is actually, no, 51,000. That's probably plenty. No, I'm gonna upgrade those. Let's get let's get the big boys here. We can go with the big boy. Yeah, there we go, the elite. Maybe we'll go with Epic at some point. Um, but we will just do that. that uh, and I could move power around with laser IO, but I'm not sure how much it can move. So let's, and I love how these cables are powering up in my inventory because of flux, but anyway. Um, we can say, oh, do these not have configuration? Oh, you can't uh, tell it where the power is gonna come out. Okay, so the power has to come out the green. Right, this hooks up to green. Yeah, okay, that's fine with me then. And that's gonna go into a flux point, which we'll put right, where do we wanna put this thing? We'll put it here. Okay. All right, so that this guy is going to need water and hydrogen. So I'm gonna put the water here and let's craft hydrogen here okay now laser IO. oh we also want a crusher we'll put the actually i'll move the water put the crusher here put the water back there cool let's do this let's go laser io one there to grab water one there one there one there okay i will need to uh, find a cable here to put in our moss. Do I run a cable? Oh, yep, it's right there. Okay, so this should get our moss if we say that it can input items from the back. Easy. Okay, just doesn't have power, but that's fine. Okay, and then. Yeah, let's start configuring the water and the laser right nodes. So first thing we probably want to do is connect them all. So just start that one as the central one and connect it to all these. So they're effectively all one network. Uh, and then we're going to say, okay, from you on the down, I need a fluid card and I would like to extract. We might need to um, speed them up, but we'll wait, wait for that. Okay. Then you need water for sure. So on the down, fluid card, insert. You getting water? It is getting water. Such a piece of cake. Okay, let's just configure these uh, fluids input top. Okay. Uh, now you also need water. So we'll do that as well. Um, fluids. Insert from the top. Is it because it's using it all here? No. Oh, I didn't put it on the down. Duh. There we go. Okay, so we got water in here. It generated a little bit of hydrogen right away. Uh, we don't care about the oxygen, so we'll just dump it. Um, and the hydrogen, I believe, is a gas, so we're going to need to move that with a pipe or a tube. And so we'll go to side configs, which, what's the front? This is the front. Gases, uh, which one is the, the hydrogen is blue. So that goes out the left. Sure, auto eject. Okay. I think that's all we need other than power. So you should have a little bit of hydrogen, yep. So your config on gases. Um, which way did we put this thing down? Oh, we put it this way. <laughs> it's hard to remember which side's the front. So you're gonna actually gases here. Oh my gosh, clear that out, there we go. Okay, I think we just need power. 
<laughs> oh, we need item. Move the items around. Um, so you are going to input why is that oh yeah items come out the back right and then they the export out the top okay and so you on the down slot need an item card extracting and that needs to come over here on the down item card inserting items on the top that's it okay let's get power to all these um, so if I go ahead and put a transfer node um, it's like this is gonna have to generate power it has a little bit in there it might be enough to keep it running we'll see um, do I have another I might as well just get another point Right. That way, if this ever like shuts off, it's not gonna like require jump starting, and we'll do it just like we've done every other one, which was uh, I don't remember. That didn't go. Okay. I just gotta be consistent. So point there, transfer it here, connect you to power. Okay, and then you, my friend, are gonna be going into power gen. Oh, this is a point, it's supposed to be a plug. Ah, that was the problem. That was why I was like, why do I have this point sitting here? And I tried to use it, but no, it should be a plug. And now I probably don't have enough stuff to make all this. Oh, good, just enough. Because this is creating power. Did I just put a point on there again? Plug. And so that goes into power gen, which will fill up that buffer right here. Even though it's already full, but we're good to go there. All right, let's get some GPS cards. And we'll go one two and three I don't think these take power right because they're creating power so all those get power and we should see everything running we got a problem there but let's let's fix this first okay so this is generating biofuel and that should be placed in here perfect this is generating hydrogen putting it in here oh this is generating substrate we got to take care of that but we are getting ethylene now so we will that needs to go out the back. Maybe. Is this not a gas? Or do I need to rehook up this? Whoa. Nope, that's still not wrecked. Oh, that's bottom. Duh. Back. Which one's back? That one. There we go. All right, now the ethylene is coming out here. And what are we? What are we? What are we creating here? Here we go. Producing. Well, it was. Oh, it's full, so it stopped. <laughs> Sounds good. So we won't really know how much it can create until we have used the power. But what we also need to do is get some of these machines running at full speed. So let's get um, the upgrade cards. So I'm gonna drop a few things that we don't need anymore. I do need to handle that substrate, so I'm gonna just put that there. Let's put it somewhere where I can reuse a node. Right there, on the up 
insert. Oh, I've got to have a filter, don't I? Or it'll just insert any item. Oh, I can change channels. We do channels. So this is orange, which comes out of you on the down. And that should take substrates out the top. There we go. Put them up there. All right, I get a void upgrade for that. And I won't have to ever worry about substrates backing up the system. Okay. So ethylene is backing up here. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. So let's get these uh, upgrades. Not upgrades, plural, upgrade, singular. <laughs> um, so we need 24, but I've already got four. Let's get 28 of each on oh, missing glass. Can I just get like four more? Yeah. Um, let's see. Probably just throw sand over here real quick. Oh, I've got it on craft here. Make me... Probably should get a stack upgrade, but that's fine. All right, we all, we got more gra gra glass than we know what to do with. You're just not importing fast enough. Oh, it really wants to use. Oh, did I do the recipes wrong? <laughs> I might have done exact mode with the white stained glass. That's a problem. Looks like another fairy visited us, but uh, where did I put those recipes? <sighs> so speed upgrade is not an exact. Actually, it is exact, but I want normal glass. Okay, and then you. Okay. All right, we can go put a few of these in and then we'll Grab more if we need them. Teleport, please. There we go. So this guy here, he can hold speed and energy and mufflers. There we go. Let's just make sure we have tons of hydrogen. We're a little bit slow on water, so let's put a upgrade. Actually, I think we just need a card just this specific card so we can is it control yeah control click goes up by 100 so now we're two buckets every 15 if we need them any faster we can do that but it looks like that's holding up now okay so in this machine here what can you hold same things You already got speed, I need power upgrades. Okay. So you got speed and power. Then you over here. So we need five more of each of those. Whatever, eight and eight, right? <laughs> as long as we get there in the end. Okay, so that's got, are you moving over this stuff? Oh, you're not moving over. So you need a, I've got a node over clocker, so might as well just put the full node in here. So 
yeah, the note overclocker update updates all the stuff in here. And there, oh, there's really just one item card. So we really don't need to worry about that. So let's just get a, a card upgrader. So on the down, upgrade this specific card. So can you pull more now? Pull 16 and 15 ticks. So that should be fine. Yeah, cool. So that is going fast. Um, it might not be pulling the substrate out fast enough now. So we'll upgrade that one. And that one is this one. Okay. Beautiful. So we're producing a ton here. Now what can these hold? These can hold nothing. Okay, wasn't there one that holds the gas upgrade? No, okay. All right, so other than mufflers, we've got everything that we need in there. I'm calling that good. Nice little small little build, especially with laser IO. We don't have a ton of pipes all over the place and uh, everything. Um, that sounds good. Let's look at our uh, our network, our status here. So this is our main network. We're using about 700, give or take. Depends on whenever the uh, the furnace over there gets materials or not. And so this one should just be importing. Oh, 7,000. I don't know why it's doing 7,000. Because this thing's full. And this thing is only taking out 700. Hmm. I really don't know where all this is going. Because this is the only point that is a plug, and then up in the windmills is our plug. Anybody else know, understand how to read that graph? Because <laughs> it should not be able to pump that much in here. It produces for like a split second. Oh well. Let's let's go give it something to use. <laughs> That's what I want to do. So if I come down here, I've got my uh, wireless transmitter, and I think I've got a uh, what is it called? It glows, so it's pretty easy to see. Where is it? Oh, it's it's part of an add-on here. So what's it called? Uh, unlimited? Infinite? There it is. So it's from RS Infinity Booster. It's called the Infinity Range Booster. It's three of the cards plus another star. And we can put that in here. And that's going to now use 2,000 or four, or maybe even more. I don't know. I can't remember. But we should now see this thing using a lot more. <laughs> there we go. So maybe it uses 4,000 because we jumped from about 700 to 4.6. So. Another 4,000 just for that thing. And now this guy, as long as you're keeping up, I, <laughs> it jumped up 10,000. All good, I don't know, it's really weird. But yeah, we've got full ethylene, this thing's barely turning on. What about you? Yeah, so we are in, we are in no danger <laughs> of losing our, our power at any time soon, so we've got plenty to go use however we wish. Let's go sleep to get rid of this rain. Oops, get me, get me up in my master bedroom. All right, uh, while I'm here, do I want to do any trades? No beekeepers. I don't think we need anything right now. 
We will. Oh, and I forgot I had the source gem on trade. And there's a regen totem. I totally forgot about that, too. Man, I gotta look at these guys more often. And the dragon's breath. Yeah, this guy's got everything we need. And the blaze rods, too. Um, I want to set him up on an auto trader uh, to get blaze rods and then use those maybe to power some stuff. At least maybe power mana instead of coal. We'll see. Because you have way too many emeralds. And all those carrots. Um, I, every time I come, I do, I do this guy's trades. Just max him out real quick. Okay. Uh, this dude... Oh yeah, this is what I wanted to look at. Echo shards we're going to need for the next quest line. And it's a source gem, which I can get from the dude over there. And then one amethyst shard. So let's go get a bunch of... Uh, this because I want to max him out um, I'm not sure how many more levels of regen I can do let's see definitely that one okay I'm up to regen three I believe I have resistance three regen three I'm never gonna take any damage <laughs> famous last words but Okay, so I should set up some auto trades so they can max out the source gems. Oh, I wanted to take those source gems. At least a stack of them here and a stack of amethyst. I'll do this trade over here. There we go, stack of those. Unlock some other stuff that I don't really care about. But now we should be able to go to here, go to the overpowered quest line, and turn in those echo shards. So that was super easy. We had enough uh, villagers to get that done. Um, so all that's less than is industrial foregoing. So we're going to have to start getting some latex and everything. And then this atomic alloy, which means we need a lot of obsidian. So let's go continue our work on obsidian. And the first step of that is going to be, oops, hi bees, is to get uh, lava. Now, if we look at ways to get lava, there are a number of them. Uh, we can do it with uh, create. Uh, we could do it in the melting chamber. And I want to show a special, a little bit of trick with this one. I have no idea how to use a lava shine, so we we'll worry about that. Laser drills could be cool because it would just generate. It would just be complete power, nothing else. Uh, but I would need latex for that. Squeezer. I don't think I have an infinite source of these right now. Um, and this is a lot of RF and a long time to do that. So I think we're going to go with good old magma crucible. And then the best one to get here, this uses 200k, 200k, 60k, and 200k, 40k. So magma is our, our best option there, but netherrack is much more. We have much more of it. It's auto-crafted stuff. So magma crucible into a netherrack, or with netherrack. So let's get one of these. I don't have any of this on auto-craft. That's unfortunate. Because I don't know if I'm gonna need two of these or just one will be sufficient. All right, crucible there. I will need an exporter to put in netherrack. Um, just some cables to route that as well. And then we'll go right into a tank. Oh, I've got an orange. All right, let's get another one with orange, orange, orange. So orange, yellow, orange is honey, but orange, orange, orange <laughs> is lava. Okay, uh, and then let's get a giant tank here. Singularity. It's 32 buckets. Do we have the bigger one? The jumbo? Yeah, we get the jumbo. That's a million buckets. I don't know. It's something crazy. I think it's a thousand buckets. Yeah, 1,024 buckets. And then do we have Gargantuan? No, <laughs> no more. Jumbo is the biggest. Okay. 
So that is where we hold our lava. And then I'm going to get a, um, what's it called? External storage to link it into the system. Right now we already have, oh, I can use it because this thing's a universal grid. So fluid grid, we already have the crude oil and the fuel. We didn't put the honey in there. So we should probably do that. Let's get another external for honey. Okay, anything else we need on this? Oh, probably some augments, um, which are called integral components. We've got the resonant, good. And then which augment could this hold? Probably the flux linkage. Yeah, some of these. Can we make electrum plates? We can. Okay. I just happen to have no <laughs> a failure to put stuff oh my goodness can we just fly there we go get those banged out watch our little star buckles while we're waiting Ah, oh, you're mean. You are mean. Uh, and then we're going to need probably speed upgrades on the exporter. Or do we want to just a stack? Yeah, let's get a stack. I think that'll put a stack another rack in there. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go get lava gen working. Why aren't you teleporting? Probably because I'm hitting shift and I should be. All right, so this is our fluid gen area. We've got honey over here. Uh, and I'm gonna put a... I don't know why this is not moving at all up into the under tank. I'm a little confused. Is it because I like flipped this or something? Huh. Weird. Okay. I don't really care. Um, I'm just going to put the external storage here. Okay. And the only thing you can't forget is to switch this to fluids. Are you still just full of... I don't know where, it seems like we're losing honey, right? Because this is actually mixing, and it's but it's full. It's going into there. This is maxed. This is pumping, but that's not upgrading. Something is wrong with this. I hope ender tanks aren't broken. You should just be not doing anything. Come on, put something in there. I want to see you not doing anything. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we're just wasting it. Who knows? Okay, so we'll do lava gen right here then. Um, right in the middle. Sounds good. Where do we want to export this? We've been kind of going in the top, it seems. Kind of our standard here. Oh, look at that, right there, beautiful. Okay, stack upgrade, netherrack. Uh, import from the top. Uh, we missed a GPS. Didn't quite have everything we need. Is it? Is 
It's like I know I have GPS cards somewhere. I mean, that's it, right? <laughs> that's large that's lava gen. Um, it's slow, right? But if we put this in there and that in there, it's much faster. Uses a lot more power. It's using 1280 RF a tick to get this lava. But we're getting it pretty quick now. Bucket every few seconds. Okay. So that is good. I mean, that is just a tiny little machine there. That is crazy. Let's put it into a jumbo tank. Um, I could just put it next to it, but I think we're going to put it here. Which means I need a pipe, and I happen to have a pipe. Configurator. Can never find the stupid thing. And then right here, external storage. Don't forget fluid mode. And we've got lava. Okay, so now I can see 32 buckets of honey, 20 buckets of lava. Is this thing still processing? Who knows? I don't know. Maybe the, oh, it's probably nighttime. The bees aren't producing honey right now. Okay. Anyway, that's our lava. It's now available. So we don't really need an ender tank, right? As long as we are close to a cable, we can always just export it. Um, so whatever, I guess we've got extra ender tanks. Okay, um, what's next then? <laughs> so we need to do obsidian generation. Uh, now there are a number of ways to do that. I think, I mean, turning lava into obsidian. So, <laughs> which way do we want to do it? Three pages worth. So this one is a solidification chamber. It takes eight, it's like 800 millibuckets. It's not a full bucket, plus three cobblestone. But it takes 15 seconds and a lot of power. So that doesn't seem worth it, right? I'd rather just plop it next down to water if I had to. Um, the stonework gen in the material stone at working factory is awesome. But that's industrial foregoing, which we don't have yet. Um, so I think we might try to use the material generator. Um, because we have room over in our system for another slot. It's just, can we get the lava in there? So I'm gonna do it right here. So let's break some of this. Okay. And so one thing it said we need to do is get some crying obsidian, which we've found in random chests. And I think you can trade with piglins for it. There's a bunch of ways to get that. And that's going to go there. Okay. And now this thing is, it would generate obsidian, but we need to fill it with lava. So I think all we have to do then, I mean, I think it's going to be as simple as exporter. Come on. I mean, can it get any easier than this? <laughs> Fluids, lava, and then just connect it somehow. Where do we got room? This is a hallway. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess we're gonna have to go down underneath the ground, which is fine. You're coming with me, Cable. All right, let's see if this works. Teleport through the wall, please. Okay, are you getting lava in you? 
Oh, you're making obsidian. <laughs> nice. So it looks like speed upgrade in here is required because this is not... Oh, he's getting lava. lava. Uh, this has got that, but it's just the drawer is locked. Okay. And I want to take all the obsidian out of the system anyway to force it into here. Come on. Show me your ticket up. Tick it up. 99. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's cool. Using a, kind of a different mod than we normally been using. Put a few things back here. Oh, I want to get a, an upgrade or a speed. Yeah. Speed up. I need to make a lot of improved processors. Probably used. Oops. Ten more of these two. Diamond, we're good. Sped up? Nope, not sped up. Speed up. There we go. <laughs> that is beautiful. So let's see, are we bets on, do you think we are making positive lava or breaking even or guzzling it? 74, 73, 74, come on, stay about 74. Oh, we're not quite, not quite. <laughs> It's using it up faster than we can create it. Okay. Because of that, I want to always have a little bit of lava in the system. I'm going to take one of these speed upgrades out and then give it a test here. I guess it won't matter because it's, it's full right now. All right. I'm going to go with three. See how it does. This is, this is plenty. We've already generated 40, right? Like, wow. Happy day, obsidian generation done, which now means we should be able to uh, get these atomic alloys because uh, our biggest holdback was the refined obsidian. And now we can turn that puppy on. So is this set to, no, that's the reason this is not generating. Um, What's the recipe? <laughs> For this guy. Refined obsidian dust. Not a fluid grid. I didn't want to put this on because I knew it was going to use way too much obsidian. And I'm actually worried because I because I made these factories, they're going to hold three stacks of this plus a stack of it in here. That's a bummer. <laughs> but let's do it. Oh, we need a crafting card, right? Maybe. <laughs> uh, were you not set to import from the back? There she goes. Okay, so this should be making the refined obsidian. Yep. And this should be making... Which one makes the obsidian? Here? I don't remember. This one. You're not going? Oh, there it goes. It's just only when it needs it. But you see these all hold like three stacks plus another stack here. So it's four stacks of refined obsidian that's going to have in here. I should have never made this a factory. Oh, well. It's got how many upgrades in here? Eight and eight. Cool. 
So that is going up. So we should be... Maybe doing that. Nice. Is this being used faster than it's coming in? You know, a little bit. And the way we can um, fix that, since we do have a factory, is we take these uh, recipes. Which one am I trying to modify? I guess it's none of those. Sorry. Let's go back. Um, we go to this one. Let's just adjust them all. It's this one. Would, um, where would that one be? That one's in here. There we go. That, one. that was the one I was looking for. <laughs> Um, so if I take these and say, you're actually going to take four obsidian and make 16 obsidian dust, right? Then it'll process more at a time. And then this one, the same thing. You can take 16 obsidian dust and make 16 refined dust. So that's just a little bit of trick to uh, make it process more time. Otherwise, it's just going to do one operation, and it's not going to be very effective. So go in there. Maybe. <laughs> there it goes. OK. And so now it has tons it can put in here all at the same time. You can split. Oh, I guess uh, making maybe 16 was not right on this one. I should have just done four and four. Or maybe eight and eight. I don't know. Let's try it with eight and eight. So then it doesn't have to wait for that machine to do all its importing. Okay, I like that better. Yeah. Still a little bit slow. I think if we put speed upgrades in here, it would be faster. But anyway, did we already get a stack of volley? Oh, we did. So we're gonna try two stacks this time. Go, baby, go. Okay, I'm gonna try some speed upgrades. You need to input those faster. There you go. You can input those faster. I don't think you need to input those faster, but maybe you do. I don't know. Oh, and this guy. Hello, B. What are you going to drop for me today? You got some goodies? I think I should put my magnet on. I'll get them. I don't have to worry about that. 153, this is going quick. Looks like the redstone, or the number one, and this is still doing, oh, this is beautiful. Keep it up here. Come on, Mr. B, I wanna leave. Oh, an elemental source. Another one. A terrace deal. <laughs> 
Uh, resident integral. Wow. Where'd you go? A broken spawner and a green heart. He's got one more thing for me. A lubricant dispenser, plano stabilizer. Oh, need another terra steel. Good job, B. Thank you. Wow, he didn't die. That was weird. I've never had a bee not die before. Can I turn these spawners into actual spawners? I can. Okay, soul cages. We should look into that. Is it still just? I think it's done. Okay, let's see. We need one more stack then. What's the quest? 256. Yeah, so we're one stack short. Watch the magic. Oh, this is so beautiful. <laughs> it's up to 39 in rich obsidian. How is our, our obsidian levels here? Wow, we are still positive. Very positive. Wow, I thought that was going to be in the negatives. How's our lava? On the fluid side? Okay, so our speed upgrades, we've got too many in there. That's fine. There we go. That was so fast. Alrighty, so last part of this quest is the simple machine frame. We might actually be able to do this. We've got 10 minutes. Let's see if we can do it. <laughs> I want to get a quest done. So we need to get a few things. First, we need to get acacia. And we have acacia. Beautiful. But we need to farm acacia. All right, because this block is going to be destroyed. Wish I had more, but we can probably get more just with some bone meal real quick. Let's go over to our farm. All right, so I'm gonna tell you to plant acacia trees, please. And you have some bone meal. And then you harvest. Turn my magnet off. There might be a problem with the range because we didn't expect the trees to grow sideways. Yep. Oh, uh, let's see. It's been a while since I've done this. Let's get that one out. I think it's work tool. There we go. So this is a work location. No, that's that's fine. It's this one. Work area. So now we'll go from here. No, not there. I don't want it to break the glass. Um, give me a piece of wood, please. Hey, you're bad. Don't steal that from me. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> from here, clear it. Go away. Clear it. Clear it, maybe, somehow. <laughs> Point one selected, my goodness. This mod, I tell ya. And just in case, we'll go all the way to make here. Point two, okay. We'll leave those there, because now we can just chop them down. I just want to get some more saplings here. Don't you dare not give me a sapling. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, and I've got some extra drawers here now. So we'll put... Um, do I have... I've got infinite range now, right? So 
let's put that here, that in there. Do you drop anything else now? Probably need to add that. Okay. What is it doing? I'm hearing a... Is it breaking the sapling? What is it going on? What is the noise? <laughs> I've done something. No, that one looks fine. That looks fine. <laughs> um, really weird. this to to work really quick um i think next time we will upgrade this to work better this was it kind of worked for a while but we need to really turn this to 11 so um i've got some ideas on how we can make this better um but for now i will just handle it myself is it is it like the bone meal it's doing stuff i have no idea Oh, it did go higher. That should be enough wood, right? At least for now. Take a stack. So that's our first step. That's where we generate our latex. Uh, we need to get something to put it down. So let's do a pedestal for that. We'll need a placer. Which we have. Like that. Okay. And we'll need a export bus to actually put the wood into that thing. So that's all dandy. Uh, then in industrial foregoing, we have the tree. It's latex processing. Har har harvest? What's this thing called? Maybe it's in the, uh, the quest line. <laughs> uh, Fluid extractor. There we go. So pity machine frames. Get four of the four? Yeah, we can do four. Okay. So those will extract. Those are power optional but i think we should provide them power so let's get our point let's get, i've got gps so we just need a node to provide them with power okay then those will go into pipe i think basic is plenty fine for this because they don't produce very much uh, until we upgrade them at least um and that will be good. So yeah, then let's just get the latex processing unit. And we'll call it good for now. Oh, I'm going to have to get a latex bucket first. Okay.
Look at that. And we don't really need to make a big farm for this, right? Because it's... Uh, can I make it in these two? Industrial four going in here. Oops. Uh -huh. Magnet. In these two things here. Yeah, I think we can. Okay, so right. Let's get power here first. Oh, you are in the way. You stink. Whatever, we'll put it here. Okay, that's good there. Put this thing here. Like refining as I go, that's fine. Where's the cables? Didn't I get cables? Although now with infinite range, it doesn't matter. You export that. Sixty-four acacia logs. Uh, we need a work location card. And I would like you to place your tree right here. Thank you. Place it. Do it. There you go. Extractor. 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 They will slowly break this block and then that guy will just replace it. I doubt he'll go through that stack <laughs> even remotely. But anyway, we can give these power. So GPS cards, four of them please. And actually we need one for latex processing unit. I'll just make them work a little faster. And then we can go tank here, cable. What am I placing down? Pipe, okay, good. Pipe is the correct answer for those. Doop, doop, nope. Beautiful, okay. Internal storage, so we can move it around wherever we want. Come on, shift click, there we go. If I do that, I can get rid of a bit of cable here. Okay, that should all still all work. This needs to be in fluid mode. We've got 1.6, perfect. Do I have a bucket? I do. Latex processing unit, done, okay. It's probably kind of silly to have this, but. That's our gaining stuff, right? Because we need to process this stuff into plastic, but we're also gonna need to use it in other machines that we're gonna place down here later. So this one, our kind of thing is to put them up one. So just give me any block here. Okay, export latex. I 
and that'll come in here. We need power. For now, I'm just gonna link it to that one, but we're probably gonna have a lot of machines, so we'll need another one. Okay. You have your power, you're gonna need water. Um, I don't think we have water available, right? We do not yet. We should. So let's take care of that real quick and then we'll be done. Oh, why, did I, why did I come all the way over here? I forget, I've got infinite. Um, that's why, because I don't have a bucket of water. I'll have infinite in just a minute. Oh, I left that uh, range on. I've got to turn that off. Okay, so we can we can come back over to the factory now. So this is a fluid gen, so that'll be in this quadrant over here. By our water, or by our lava anyway. So we do it right here. So sink. Yes, please. Wrong grid. And really all the sad part of this is all we have to do is go like that. And we don't even have to extract it because this thing is assumed to have, oh, it's only two buckets. So maybe we should extract it. Okay, let's do it. If I ever need to pump it really fast, I want to have a good tank worth Always upgrade that later. All right, so now we've got 32 buckets of water, so this should now put water and latex in here. Haha, <laughs> nice. Okay, so all we're gonna need is a speed upgrade here. Like when everything just works, right? And next time we'll work on processing the tiny rubber, ball, rubber balls. We just need to put it in an auto crafter. And then I think we need to then cook it. Yeah. Uh, so we could do it. Yeah, let's do it. So an importer. A little over time, but that's all right. All right, that is sucking those in. And then over here. We don't really want to have to like request the stuff. We just want to always craft it because there's no purpose in having tiny dry rubber balls or whatever. Oh, come on. There. Not that, we want dry rubber. So just anytime you have dry rubber in the system or the ability to even craft it, do it, put it in here. Can you import from the top? You can now. And now all we need to finish that off is a recipe for this. Oh, I'm out of patterns. And do we have any space left over? <laughs> We're getting low. I gotta move all those. There's just not enough space. 
Um, so we should see. It's gone, <laughs> right? It's going somewhere. What does dry rubber make? Plastic. Oh, duh. I was looking for rubber in the system. There we go. So we're making plastic now. And I don't know what we did with the quest here. But that's fine. So we didn't quite get to simple machine frame, but we are well on our on our way. We just need to make the dissolution chamber, uh, put some latex in it, and then set up a crafting recipe, and we'll be good for that. Uh, so that should be pretty quick next time. Um, and then we'll be making latex, so that's good, and power, so I can get those started. Um, and then, yeah, we've got some fun time. We need to get into elemental craft, uh, more infestio foregoing, some more botania, and I think this is just experience, yeah. Sweet, so that should all be easy. I think we can knock out all of this. Eh, maybe not all of it. That botania one's gonna take a while. Based on the mana gen that I have. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry we went long. I had a lot of fun today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, all that jazz. Comment below with some interesting stuff <laughs> if you liked the builds today. And I'll see you next time. Catch you later. Bye.